Hi guys, um, I just want to share this strategy with you or the indicator with you. It's a little bit different to stuff that we cover on the course. Um, you know, obviously everything works together. Uh, you know, your support and resistance, all that kind of stuff. But I just really wanted to go through this particular indicator. Um, it's called the uh, Ichimoku Kinku Hayo. Um, it's a bank uh, funky Japanese name, and apparently it translates to one look equilibrium chart. So it looks pretty complicated at first. I always tell people if you want to have a chart open and kind of impress your friends as they walk past your computer, you know, put this indicator on it. Looks, it's pretty snazzy. Um, but it's actually not that complicated uh, when you break it down. So um, there's a number of lines and, and stuff on here happening. Um, so I'm just going to take you through the lines and kind of how to read them and stuff. So the first line I want to just discuss is this blue line. Um, it's called the conversion line. And what this particular line is uh, or does or, or indicates is the last nine periods, the last nine candlesticks, and it takes um, the high of the last ca nine candlesticks and the low of the last, last nine candlesticks, and it plots a line 50% um, of, of the way through. So in other words, it takes the high and the low, and then divides that by two, and it gives you this it's almost like a moving average that goes through. Um, so that's the first line I want to uh, kind of discuss with you. Um, it's the fastest of the line. It shows a lot of the short-term um, support and resistance, as you can see here, where the price uh, finds resistance, and then, uh, resistance then comes and then eventually will find support. So it's short-term support and resistance line there, uh, or your short-term, very short-term trend line. Um, then you've got another line here, which is called your baseline. So this is, works on a similar principle, right? just the only difference is it takes the last 26 candlesticks and um, it takes a point or plots a line halfway between the high and the low of the last 26 candlesticks. And that is called your baseline. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so basically you can say when these two things cross, when the red cross is down below the blue, that is a bearish signal, a bearish signal. And then you can say when it crosses up, it's a bullish signal. So there you can see it's crossing up again, that's a bullish signal. So th these two lines are obviously important. You know, when you take the signal on the cross of the, um, when the blue and the red ones cross. So then the next couple of lines I'm gonna talk about are these lines here at the top got the orange line and then you've got the gray line um, so when these things cross you can see they give you a kind of a clouds thing happening here so when the cloud is orange then that indicates that the market is bullish and then when the cloud is gray that indicates that the market is bearish the other thing just to factor in as well is that yes, that is one way. The other way to look at it is that if the price is moving below the cloud, then that indicates that the market is bearish. And if the price moves up above the cloud, um, then you would say the market is bullish. And sometimes you'll find that it moves in within the clouds. And then you just know that the market is kind of ranging or, or, or very flat. Um, so, yeah, so and the other thing that you'll see with the cloud is that depending on the thickness of the clouds uh, will depend on obviously the volatility of the market and how, how hard it's trending down or up. Um, so you'll find as well a new trend tends to happen when the market breaks above the clouds. So here, for example, it's been below the cloud all this time, then all of a sudden it breaks up and uh, uh, does a little upward movement. Or it breaks down and, and does a, a downward movement for us. Okay, so it's a break of the clouds um, indicates a change of trend. So you can see here we had an upward movement, 
and then it's come down and it's broken down below the clouds and then we've had that downward movement happening there. Um, so yeah, so the cloud in real time has actually shifted forward 26 days. So it means that it plots um, 26 days ahead of the last price points. And it indicates future support and resistance. So if we take it right back to the start. Then you can see this cloud actually happens in way in advance. These two ones, as I say, they happen in, in real time. Um, and then you've got one last um, thing that we look at, which is called your lagging span. So it's what it does is it shows the, the current price, but it plots a line 26 candles ago. So if I measure from there, See there, you can see the, the, the on the indicator there says 26, which means it's 26 candles ahead. So it also compares the current price to where the market was 26 candles ago. So if you find that this line is below the, the price action of 26 candles ago, then you're gonna you know you're gonna basically be able to say yes, that is a strong trend, or, or you know, the gap between there means the market's come down quite fast. So that's giving you um, a decent indication as, as well of trends. So, you know, it's a trend. It's, it's, it's very good to identify um, if the trend is going up and down. Um, here, for example, you've got quite a strong downward trend and you can see that because you've got the cloud at the top, then you've got the blue line is predominantly above um, the red line. And then you've got the lagging indicator which shows you what the price was doing uh, and some candlesticks ago as well. Um, as I say, to, to get the signal, then basically you would want um, the clouds, you want, you want the price action to be below the cloud. And then you also want the green line to be below the price action. And then when the blue crosses over the red, then that will give us a bearish signal. And then obviously when they cross back, then you, I mean, you could look to close that trade there. Um, so it's an indication when the things start to cross back up, that the trends may be not as, as strong anymore. Um, there you could have entered. The other thing you can look at is if, if the candlesticks close back above the red line. So you, you see how closely that the candlesticks hit, they use almost this line as a, a, a resistance level. So all of a sudden you get one that's closed above and then you use that as a, as a method to exit your trade or as a logical reason to exit your trade. So play around with this guys, you know, it's really good at giving you um, or, or showing you a strong trending market. You know, obviously we as traders want to trade in, in what we like it when the market is trading strong, strongly. So um, yeah, play around with it. There's another video I'm going to do next week, which will just elaborate a little bit on this method. Um, any questions, um, you know, I would suggest, as I say, go back through your charts, just have a look through it and see how it works and go back through your charts. Um, and uh, yeah, we, you know, let me know if you've got any questions on it. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, pop onto the chat room if you like. Um, get me on the chat room or you can email me or give me a call. And uh, yeah. Look forward to hearing from you guys.